Hi folks, welcome back again. Today I've got a video talking about how to outline fonts from within Adobe Acrobat using a pre-flight. Then I'm also going to show how to apply that to not only just one single PDF, but to multiple PDFs within a single folder. In front of me I have a folder that I've just uh, put five different PDFs into a subfolder and just called it Original Files. And so if I open one here, I'm going to do this one here, the memo one. And so this is just a simple 8.5 by 11 size PDF. It's only one page. And basically what we want to do is we want to take all of this text and we want to outline it. So one way to double check to make sure that it is text, you can always highlight it with the selection tool. But you can come over here and if this uh, the left hand flyout is not open already, click that and then you can right click and go to content. And this basically is going to show you all the different elements that are on the PDF file. So if I click this out, this is page one. Obviously, if this was a multi-page PDF, there'd be a page two, three, four, etc. But if I click this flyout, this shows me all the different things that are on this PDF. And if I click on text, it's going to highlight everything that's basically inside this text block. And it is labeled as text so it shows me that this indeed is text if I click here this is a path this is a uh, form object which is somewhere and then this is an element so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a um, a preflight now to go ahead and take all of this text and convert it into outlines so if I close this out and I come over to the other side here and I go to print production and by the way, this is just under uh, your tools. So if you um, if you don't see it here, you can always click more tools and it'll be somewhere within here. In this case, it shows right here, print production. Um, so I'm gonna go to pre-flight and I already have searched out outline and basically there is a pre-existing PDF fix up. You don't even have to create it, it's already there. Um, just You just have to make sure that you have this Acrobat Pro DC 2015 profile selected and it's right here convert fonts to outlines and it's going to do exactly what it says it does so if I hit analyze and fix it's going to prompt me to save and if I just save and I just call this outlined I hit save and it's going to go through the PDF real quick and obviously here it says convert font to outlines it did it to three objects if I go back over here to my content you can see that now there is no longer a text element that to select everything has been converted into a path so if I just kind of scroll down here what it does what it, it has done is it has created all or turned all of these into um, uh, paths instead of an actual text element so that's the quick way to apply outlines to fonts from within a PDF the problem is now, what if you want to apply this to multiple PDF files? So you can essentially just take this, and um, I'm going to delete this real quick, but I can open these, um, and I can apply that pre-flight, but I'm going to have to do it one by one by one by one by one. So in this case, it's only five, but what if I had like 50 files or 100 files? It's going to take forever, right? So the way to get around this, let me go ahead and close all this out. These are also just some different ones here that I've selected. Um, the way to get around this is to, to create an action. And so if you open up Acrobat without a PDF, just the program itself, go up to Tools, and then you go down to Action Wizard. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to create a new action. And so from here, what I'm going to do is right now it's set at default to currently open a file as default so whatever file you're working on that's what that's what it's going to work on instead what we want to do this is we want to change this from add files to add folder and what this will do is it'll prompt you to select a folder with multiple PDF files within that folder to apply this so now we need to select document processing and preflight and we're going to move the arrow over and this is where we're going to apply that convert outlines preflight 
So if you leave this prompt user uh, checkbox selected, every time a new file gets open, it's going to ask you to for some input. So we, we're going to go ahead and uncheck that so that it just f uh, flows through the entire folder without having uh, uh, needing us to intervene at all. So if I click on Specify Settings, I want to make sure that I have that same profile here, um, the ACFAT uh, Pro DC 2015. And then we're going to search for Convert Fonts to Outlines. This is the same profile that we applied to the single PDF. Now we're just going to apply this to all PDFs within a folder. At the bottom here, I'm going to select this Display a Summary PDF. Um, so basically what's going to happen is at the end, it's going to uh, show us a summary of what happened within that uh, pre-flight, if it did it um, successfully or there was an error. Uh, you can also set up different uh, subfolders and everything, but I'm going to show you how to, to do it in the next step so that uh, it doesn't create a duplicate file. So uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave this all unchecked, and I'm going to hit Save. And then the, the next thing I want to do is I want to go down to Save and Export here and click Save, and I'm going to move that over as well. And I'm going to go to Specify Settings, and it gives you the option here to either keep the original file name or to add uh, to the original file name. So what I want to do is I want to create a, uh, um, a name after the original file name, and I'm just going to call it Outlined. And so basically what's going to happen is after it... Uh, runs the pre-flight, it'll save this as a duplicate and it'll call it outline so we know that it's a different file from the original. Uh, everything else I'm going to leave the same. I'm just going to say uh, leave it as save as Adobe PDF. So I'm going to hit OK. And then the last thing here is I'm going to click this little uh, button here and I want to save it to a local folder. And so this folder is where I have the originals. So here's my um, uh, the folder above and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this outline fonts and I'm going to hit create and so now what it's going to do is it's going to grab the files from this folder run the pre-flight and it's going to dump them into this folder when it's finished so I'm going to hit choose and that's basically it we have the um, action already set up so I'm going to hit save and then it's going to prompt you for a name and so I'm just going to call this uh, outline fonts and uh, it's going to ask for a description so I'm just going to say outlines fonts for multiple PDFs within a user selected folder and I think that's fine I mean if you want to give it a more detailed description go for it so I'm going to hit save and so now what it's done is it's put that action or, uh, over here on the this list some of these are uh, default items that have that come with Acrobat Pro. Uh, this is a sample of what I was working on earlier, essentially the same thing. If you want to make an edit to it, you just right click and hit edit action and it'll bring you right back in here. So if you want to change anything around, you certainly can. But once you're ready to go ahead and run this, you just basically just uh, click on it. And then um, you want to go to, uh, well, the, f the files here are already selected because I was playing with it earlier. So if I go back and click on it again, it's going to prompt you to add a folder. So if I click on Add Folder, I want the original files folder here, and I'm going to hit Choose. And it's going to load up all the PDFs in there. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to hit Start. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to open each individual PDF. It's going to run that Convert to Outlines uh, pre-flight and then when it's finished it's going to save it into that folder that we created so you can see here what's going on is it opened the first file it finished now it's going to the second file it's on the third file already um, it's on the fourth file so it's, it's going through very quickly all through the uh, different files that we created and now um, it's finished and it's giving us this summary report and this is where you can check to see if any errors happened um, so in this case, no zero errors, zero errors. Oh, that's hard to say. Zero, zero errors. <laughs> say that ten times fast, right? Um, so no errors between any of the five file or PDF files, original PDF files. So I'm I'm gonna close this. I don't need to save it. It'll automatically just keep the last one open for you. So if you just uh, ch un or uh, click out of that and close it, you'll go back out. And then if I open this up, you'll see. 
it's basically created a duplicate of all five of these files except now the fonts are outlined so if I open up my original memo and I go to my um, content you can see there's my text but if I go to the new one and if I go into here everything is a path just like we created in the uh, first part of the video so that's how to not only do a um, outline fonts but to have it apply to multiple PDF files from within one folder uh, you can do this, the same thing with the action scripts to basically apply that apply different um, pre-flights to any file so all of the other videos that I've been creating you can essentially do the same thing if you have multiple PDFs that you need to apply any of those pre-flight functions to so I hope that's helpful for um, some folks. I know there's been a request or two for, for me to do a video like this to show how to do that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. But uh, otherwise, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.